Good morning, YouTube and everyone else, whoever's watching. Um, I am making breakfast right now and then I have a dentist appointment and I'll be hitting up leg day later. So I'm gonna try and film the leg day. I'm bringing my camera in the gym. Um, I'm not sure if I'm working out at the Inspire gym that I train out of or if I'll be going to Gold's gym to work out. So um, it just depends on uh, how busy it is in there. But I did start prep about a week ago and I currently am at 129.3, 129.3. Three, four, zero, or something like that. So, um, my goal is to drop a pound a week, and since that was less than a pound, and I've kind of hit that that plateau, or kind of understanding where that maintenance calories are for the activity I've been doing and the calories, I'm going to drop about 25 carbs out of my active workout days, and then another 25 out of my rest days. My carbs are 260 on active and 210 on non-active, so. Even though cutting it, it's still quite a bit of carbs and I'm okay with that, but I just, I don't want to go too extreme at the beginning because I want to make sure that my prep is going nice and steady for 20 weeks, as always preserving muscle mass and burning fat. I also have a Vegas trip at the end of this month, my birthday coming up next month, Valentine's this Friday, and so what I'm trying to do is still track when I'm traveling, still I'm on prep, but I understand that. Um, there's gonna be those few moments so I'm gonna have a little thing off of my prep so that's why I started a little bit earlier with my um, competition prep diet so I know typically that's not traditional or something to follow but I'm prepping myself I'm gonna be tracking and playing with a couple little different things to have new experiences and since um, I haven't competed in a year and a half I've learned a lot the past year and a half and I want to try some things on my own. I've done my first two years competing on my own. Just being able to learn and do things on your own can help a lot. I understand the part of having a coach. When I had my coach the third year competing, it was great, but um, and nothing was wrong with it at all. It helped get me where I need to be. I just want to learn a little bit more by doing things on my own and showcase my knowledge as a coach as well. So I'm gonna finish making my breakfast and I'll show you all the end. I also um, bought these dough bar donuts, which I haven't had in a very long time and I've posted them before my channel, but they have protein. I feel like they're pretty accurate on macros, and you just take the donut out of the individual wrapper. I don't think I can open this, but you take the donut out of the individual wrapper, heat it up, and then you have like a little icing packet and some of the toppings. So I'm gonna have that with some eggs and turkey bacon. Let's get on to this topic. So insulin sensitivity is an extremely, extremely important topic. Hi. Just left the dentist and came to HEB to get some groceries to meal prep, but um, yeah, it was very interesting to have my photos and x-rays taken in my mouth and definitely looking at getting Invisalign, which I feel like is not going to be fun, but if you've ever had Invisalign or maybe have Invisalign, let me know at least the pros and cons of your experience. I don't want anything like super negative, but um, just like the experience that you have, because I think it's like really fascinating to find out about that. I've always had conventional braces, so... It'll definitely be different. The doctor said that it would be best for the issues that I have with my mouth and helping with long term and how much uh, like your breathing can affect your sleep as well and the way you clench or grind your teeth. So uh, there's a couple of little things to work on and work with. So I'm excited about that. But yeah, I'm going to go in the store, get some groceries, and I'm not really sure what I'm going to meal prep yet. I think I'm just going to keep it pretty standard like I've been because I don't really feel like thinking about it. And then I need to go home and do my progress photos. Uh, to post about because every Monday I'll be posting on my Instagram. I just got home with my groceries and I want to actually show what I bought for uh, meal prepping. And I know this is kind of like an awkward angle. Hopefully I can get everything to show here in the, the clip. But um, what I try to do is make it really, really easy. And I did, um, actually hold on, I'm gonna make this camera high. This is like way too low. So I always buy rotisserie chicken. Okay, I saved the chicken, I saved it. Um, I always buy rotisserie chicken so I can uh, kind of help keep myself from having to cook so much. And I do have an Instant Pot like I've seen before, but this is just really easy. Um, and then I wanna just go through each bag, although it's not like by category or anything like that, but I have some carbs, bananas, and I have bell peppers. These are for my, um, the bell peppers are for my guinea pig. Because he loves bell peppers. And then I have my blueberries, I uh, love blueberries when I have like a sweet tooth craving. And then I bought uh, two taco seasoning packets because it was buy one, go one free. So I'll be good for next week when I make that. So I'll be doing little taco seasoning bowls with 
uh, jasmine rice beans, some cheese, and ground beef. So that will be one meal prep. And then the chicken I'll be doing my with my hibachi rice, which I'll show you as well. I also got some mac and cheese. I just have so many carbs right now to eat. And even with my meals, like my meals are supposed to be about 50 grams of carbs or 42 grams of carbs per meal. That's just a lot sometimes. And I don't feel very hungry at certain times of the day. So this just helps get in the calories. I have my pasture raised eggs, which this is a really good tip. Um, always look at quality of food and that's the same thing like I always talk about to quality food, quality supplements, quality training, quality sleep. The better quality of things are, the better results you're going to get. So pasture raised is no antibiotics and also because they're eating more natural foods out, you know, being more like cage free and pasture raised, they're going to get more sunlight and they're not inside in a cage. So you're going to get more omega threes out of uh, a pasture raised egg versus one that's farm raised that's typically inside doesn't get vitamin D uh, and also doesn't get a proper diet so just that extra 75 cents to a dollar more you're paying for your eggs is gonna help you get a little bit more nutrients out of that quality of eggs. This is some stuff that's also gonna be very very convenient so I'm gonna take all of this out so we have lean burgers and these are 140 calories per patty it's only six fat, zero carbs, and 21 grams of protein. So, sorry about this angle, guys. So sorry. Um, so this is a good way to get protein in, but not too high of fat. If you were to get like a frozen patty that has a ton of fats, uh, or a regular one that's not lean, you're gonna get 18 grams of fat, and it's almost the same ratio of protein. It's gonna be very easy to hit fat intake. And for me, with my fats a little lower and carbs higher, I wanna make sure that the, the fats are moderate. And this is plenty of room to add a slice of cheese to it, have some pickles and bread to help get my carbs in as well. And then I decided to buy some of the grilled chicken breast. This is pre-seasoned as well. Of course, this is my HEB brand, so if you're watching this and you're not from Texas, sorry. This is a good backup if you ate all your meals and you haven't gone to the store and you need some quick protein, just microwave it or on the skillet with some veggies or something and have easy protein. And this is my favorite, I always show this, recipe, hibachi fried rice with chicken. You can also add some egg whites for more protein, a little bit of soy sauce, um, and what else do I add to it? Just a little bit of like pepper and stuff. So this is easy, there's two packets in here. Uh, really good macros, easy rice, at least it has some veggies in it. I don't have to worry about getting too fancy. Ground beef, and I have my Vin and Crispy turkey bacon. And then I bought two cans of black beans because I like this with my tilapia that I buy, and I also am gonna do this with my taco bowls. So one can is three and a half servings. That's perfect for my three taco bowls I'll do and my three tilapia bowls I do. I hope you're sticking with me because I know grocery hauls are not the best all the time, but at least I'm hoping to give you some tips for some food shopping and some variety because I always like sharing and also looking at other people's grocery hauls for new ideas. So I get these little peppers they're perfect to weigh out and also add in eggs, add in your taco bowls, um, just munch on with hummus maybe. It's a good uh, treat and also has a lot of micronutrients in this as well. All right, getting through it. So here's my tilapia I buy. I'm not sure if your grocery store has it, but I highly recommend this brand. The brand is really good on not tasting fishy. It's easy to cook. Um, I like putting, actually I'll show you guys. Where is that? Do, 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 do. Oh, here it is. Okay, so with the tilapia, this is my favorite seasoning to use and it's for fish. So I highly recommend buying that one. Got a salad. This is, I always split this in two servings and this is gonna be good actually to where I'm gonna make me some of this chicken in there. Turkey Delight Bowls, the macros are honestly perfect, so whether you're dieting or not, um, they're just better than the other ones. 11 grams of fat, 17 carbs, and 18 grams of protein. Perfect balance. Little Dannon, little yogurt cups, and I love these for pr quick protein and carbs. I haven't bought this yet, but I have regular cream of wheat, and I just get tired of having to, you know, make it on the stove because it takes a while. So I bought these little packets and of course if you right now my carbs are higher so I'm not concerned but when they get lower I'll be aware of which packets to buy. Um, the original cream of wheat is only 20 grams of carbs and zero sugar but the Cinnabon and the maple brown sugar both have 30 grams of carbs um, and 28 grams of carbs for the other one 
and about 13 to 14 grams of sugar. So that's something to be a little bit more aware of. Uh, the little extra carbs can add up. And depending on, you know, if they don't make you that much more full, you're better off just having the regular car, uh, the original one so you're not filling up on like the extra sugars and stuff. Another tip, tip alert, tip alert, uh, buy bulk things. So this jasmine rice I think was like under $3. I honestly forgot to look the price, but it's under $3, possibly whatever. I'm not gonna pull the receipt out, but it's under $3 maybe. And the, there was like this little bag of jasmine rice that was only a dollar less. So I got a five pound bag of jasmine rice and I'm gonna be using this. So it's better just to buy in bulk and not have to make the trip to the grocery store as often, or at least not have to make your shopping trip take forever. Just buy in bulk, it's easy. These little smoothies. These are perfect when you just want a little smoothie. Protein, carbs are good, zero fat, decent sugar, but um, not too terrible. My husband really likes these because it's just easy for him to get his calories in. And then, or just like a little snack, I should say, in the morning, not calories in, it's not a lot of calories. And then protein cereal. So since my carbs are high, like I mentioned, I want something that's gonna allow me to get my carbs in, but also some protein. Maybe this isn't the best protein source, but I do this with some almond milk. Maybe have a little bit of vanilla level one protein powder in it and, you know, keep it pretty yummy. All right, the other thing I also got was my clean eats meals. So I didn't honestly think that I was gonna get these meals till like Thursday. So I was planning on doing all my meal prep today, carry me over, and then I have my clean eats. But this will be good because I can use the clean eats as like other filler meals or when I'm just not in the mood for my meal preps. So those all have macros on there as well. It'll be easy to log. But at least I have um, my chicken hibachi rice meal prep. I'll have my tilapia uh, potato and bean one as well. And then I'll also be doing, um, what did I say? Oh, the taco bowl. So I'll have that. And then I have, of course, my backup meats in the freezer. And then I'll have my clean eats. So I'm good, hopefully, for like two weeks. Because I do not want to make it trip to the grocery store again. But I'm going to put all this grocery stuff away. I need to eat a meal. I'll probably have one of the clean eats meals because it's already done. I plan on meal prepping later today. Um, and then I'm going to be going to the gym. And it's leg day. And I have 20, car 20 grams, 20 minutes of cardio. Oh, my God, my brain already. So 20 minutes of cardio. I bumped up my cardio five, uh, five minutes and also took out 20, 25 grams of carbs. So, um, so that's gonna be my new macros, and yeah, that's pretty much it for now. Good morning, guys. It's early a.m. on February. I can never say that word. February 17th. Um, I'm here at Gold's Gym. Definitely cannot see behind me, but anyways, I'm here at Gold's Gym. Uh, I'm going to plan, just throwing this out there, I'm going to plan on doing a Monday upload um, every week. So I'm gonna film stuff throughout the week. So there's gonna be clips throughout the week, um, just whatever's going on. But I need to lock it in with prep. This is week three and my weight went back up, which I know I'm not, not to strictly be off of weight because um, you know things change and fluctuate. But yesterday we were out and about, so my food was a little off. Did my best, um, but Friday we went out for Valentine's Day and ate out and I went a little bit over what I had had planned and tracked, so that's my bad. Um, but I need to definitely like reel it in a lot more because like I can't I can't keep doing that. Where um, I just need to make sure I meal prep everything. And I feel like also um, I've had some more processed foods, like just some box things or protein snacks and things that are helping me hit my macros. But also knowing that processed foods aren't always accurate, so that is really messing up sometimes. Um, you know, like the label might say it's 150 calories, but maybe it's really like 200 and so the calories are all adding up and whatnot. So anyways, I just um, had my pre-workout, which I normally don't do, but with, um, I don't really like early AM workouts to be honest, but when I have to get it in, I have to get it in. I have a micro needling appointment at 845 this morning, so you can't work out. Your, your pores and your skin's really open and you can't sweat, so the workout has to get done early um, and before the appointment. So I took my megawatt pre-workout and this just really helps um, kind of get my caffeine in, help open up the blood vessels, get a good pump, uh, get some good energy during, during my lift. Um, whenever I have coffee, it's more restrictive and I feel like I can't breathe as well. 
my blood vessels aren't as open so just having a pre-workout can be more ideal in the morning versus coffee but once I have my microneedling appointment and go back home to work and I have like 10 things on my list to take care of today then I will um, have coffee that way I can sip it and enjoy it so yeah I'm gonna hear be here and do leg day I'm not gonna bring my camera in because it looks really busy and I normally don't train at this Gold's Gym, so I want to make sure I have plenty of time just to get my workout in. I have 20 minutes of cardio as well to get in, so I'll be here for a little bit. Um, and I had, what did I eat this morning? I had like a Dannon smoothie and some toast with peanut butter on it. Not like the most ideal, but it is what it is. So I'm going to get this workout in, and then I'll film later um, my microneedling because it's really interesting, like what the skin looks like and everything. So I know this is also like the most terrible angle and terrible lighting in my car so bear with me but um yeah i'll see you guys later on the next clip and kind of give you a little bit more rundown on my physique as well I just wanna know why every time I come around, motherfuckers think it's funny looking at me up and down. I don't really know you, you don't really know the crew. Stop acting like it's funny, not shit you gonna do. Look at you, crew not hard. Motherfuckers don't know that the kid had bars, check ID, flow, police him down. Yo, he's acting funny to police come around. You got a new car, but you leasing it now. I got a big dog on a leash, I'm releasing him now. You know, police at a pound, I'm a beast in the hound. Look who loud, we ain't keeping it down, but we slowing it down. She got crew love, cause she holding us down, ho holding us down. Got young ins pulling out, they hosters now, not shopping and holding us in now. What? All ball main, all this is on Gucci and Prada. Spending a lot on weed and anything I need I'm trying to smoke but not a fiend I'm not a jacket to the lean So fuck out that promethazine Don't make me start another scene I grab your mother, make it scream And stab your brother, leave the scene Won't even see the car clean Top the old white whip And stay clean, no Always on the scene Winning like Charlie Sheen No, they trying to take my green But they can't, they not see Low, can't see through me But I see through them Ten so dark, can't peek through the bands We'll leap through your fence And I'm rolling with a motherfucking click That's tighter than Anderson's friend And it depends how I'm feeling today I pick up a bar that I'm slamming away Can we debate that I may be the best I'm a hushing haters up like when the babies the rest I hustle around these face so they baby they stress My weed so strong that it may be just flex Lately I got my haters depressed And I leave them impressed but they love it Though. Only thing I don't do is show love to a hoe No love for the foes, no love to the feds Shout out group chat, man, I fuck all my friends Keep my circle small, no bugs in my band Man, I'm fucked in the head when I'm rapping the shit I'm cracking the broad, I'm slapping the bitch I'm a masculine kid, an immaculate whiz I'm immature a little bit, but I don't really give a shit I give a lot, I take a bit, I roll it up, I take a hit I'm giving out these outs like, damn, what? Giving out these outs like, damn, yeah You boy high as hell off the Zans, yeah Your haters blow just like fans, um Y'all don't get it, though I keep my circle small Something tighter than a cherry, yo Get it through your head, I don't don't give a fuck, you dead, son Don't step to me, or swear to God that you gon' be my next, son Stop coming at my neck, son I swear that you're my stepson Never put me in a list with anyone that's step one Don't step to me, that's step two Step three when you coming at me Don't forget your whole crew We got banana clips, that's whole food Extend no mags, no playboy No hustle around me, don't fake boy Now all I get is paper So what can you even say, boy? I coming up ripping up tracks Spitting these facts And it's so fast, they said on the rap while I just rap, matter of fact, I might just brag and tell you about all of the bitches I bag and tell you about all of the bitches I had. And well, just did in my progress photos. Am I happy? Not 100% because I kind of slacked a little bit this week. I didn't realize how many bad food, but food, ha food habits I've had. Um, and I won't really call them good or bad, but just habits. So it's my fault. Um, and with Valentine's being last week, I ate out and then yesterday we were out and about at car shows and we ate out but I tracked it but of course you don't know how much more butter and fry things are in food and I felt like I did really well but weight is up because I also got up at 5 a.m. so there's a lot of different factors yes my face is also very red different topic here from microneedling as you can see I'm trying to get rid of this stuff here scarring and pits and we'll be doing some uh, what do they call it she told me to do something Oh, just like a face peel and stuff. So I'll be doing that alongside microneedling. But anyways, there's that. Um, like I said, I'm going to be uploading every week. And I'm going to get this up along with some workout clips that I filmed on my phone at Gold's Gym earlier with my leg workout. It's very hard standing in these heels right now because my legs are hurting. So I will see you guys on the next video. If there's anything you request and you want to see more of, let me know. If you like this video, give it a like. Thumbs up. I appreciate any support trying to grow my YouTube account. All right. See y'all later. Bye.